Cinephiles and Marvel movie fans were abuzz when writer-director Edgar Wright teased plot details, production photos, and concept footage from Ant-Man, which promised to be an action comedy take on Marvel's travel-sized superhero. Wright ultimately left the project, though Paul Rudd stayed on as Scott Lang for director Peyton Reed, who delivered the 2015 film that earned over $519 million worldwide. But there were plenty of actors considered for the film's lead and the no less important parts of OG Ant-Man Hank Pym, The Wasp, and or Hope Van and dying. In this video, we'll tell you about 10 actors who were almost in Marvel's Ant-Man. If you enjoy this video, please like it and share it with your friends. Subscribe to MovieWeb to keep up with the conversation about all of the things we love. Joseph Gordon-Levitt a Variety report from late 2013 said the decision came down to Paul Rudd and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Edgar Wright, working with the script he'd co-written with Attack the Block director Joe Cornish, was said to want more of an everyman to play Ant-Man, as opposed to the super hunks who'd starred in Thor and Captain America. Marvel had reportedly looked at Joseph Gordon-Levitt for Guardians of the Galaxy as well. In an interview with the French edition of the Huffington Post, shortly after the Variety report surfaced, the Don John actor-director said, There are always a lot of rumors around these projects, and so far, it is still only in discussions. Adrian Brody when rumors popped up linking Adrian Brody to Ant-Man, Latino Review confirmed the speculation, saying they'd spoken to the actor's agency, a report that seemed to be debunked by the playlist. But Brody himself put forward his interest in the role during an appearance at New York Comic Con to promote Predators, telling Screen Rant that he was, quote, enthusiastic about the idea, though he confessed he didn't know very much about how conversations between his reps and Marvel had progressed. Ewan McGregor Ewan McGregor was one name tossed around by fans online for either Scott Lang or Hank Pym, more so than many other fantasy casting ideas. A quick Google search reveals fan art imagining what that may have looked like. Whether or not the Obi-Wan Kenobi of the Star Wars prequels was ever in serious contention remains a mystery, but he was also at one time rumored to maybe star in Doctor Strange too. Sean Bean Sean Bean nearly added the Marvel Cinematic Universe to an already impressive resume that includes esteemed places in no less than three major pop cultural cornerstones, Game of Thrones, The Lord of the Rings, and James Bond. Three different characters have taken on the Ant-Man mantle in the comics, starting with Hank Pym, created by the king of comics, Jack Kirby, with Stan Lee and Larry Lieber. Bean was one of the actors considered for that role, which went to Michael Douglas. Pierce Brosnan. Sean Bean was in competition against his handsome golden eye adversary, Pierce Brosnan. A few years later, the ex-James Bond was one of the names talked about for another aging Marvel hero, Cable, who will make his big screen debut in Deadpool 2. Gary Oldman. Oscar nominee Gary Oldman could have made the jump from DC Comics to Marvel had he ended up in the role of Hank Pym, just a few years after closing out Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy as Gotham City Police Commissioner Jim Gordon. Like Bean in Brosnan, he was another actor said to be in consideration for Hank Pym. Rashida Jones Rashida Jones showed considerable chemistry with Paul Rudd in I Love You, Man, so it came as little surprise when her name surfaced as Ant-Man's potential love interest and future Avenger Hope Van Dyne, who would become the Wasp in the sequels. Rudd was coy when asked about the possibility, a rumor that first came via superhero movie news before it was later reported in the Hollywood trades. Bryce Dallas Howard in the same report that mentioned Rashida Jones as a possibility, Variety said Edgar Wright was looking at Bryce Dallas Howard as well. The long-running Hollywood trade publication noted that her commitment to Universal's Jurassic World would likely keep her out of the running, despite Marvel's interest in talking with her. Jessica Chastain both Latino Review and Variety reported that Jessica Chastain, fresh off star making turns in The Help, The Tree of Life, and Zero Dark Thirty, was offered the role of Hope Van Dyne in Ant-Man, but passed. She herself later admitted to turning down a role in Iron Man 3 due to her other commitments, though she seemed eager to join a Marvel project eventually. That finally happened in 2017 when she signed aboard X-Men Dark Phoenix, part of the Marvel Mutant Miniverse spearheaded by Fox. Emma Stone it seems like Edgar Wright strongly considered casting someone we've traditionally seen on screen as a redhead, as in addition to Bryce Dallas Howard and Jessica Chastain, Emma Stone was said to be in some form of talks at one point. The role, of course, eventually went to Evangeline Lilly, who sports her familiar brunette locks in Ant-Man, and in its forthcoming sequel, Ant-Man and the Wasp, due in July 2018. We hope you enjoyed this look at 10 actors who were almost in Marvel's Ant-Man. If you did, please like this video and share it with your friends. And be sure to subscribe to MovieWeb to stay up to date on all of the conversations about all of the things we love.